Well, the first step that we needed to take in, in order to get the ball rolling was decentralizing Soravon, which is our communication layer, which is a Tor-based encrypted communication layer that allows um, you and a, a another party to do coin joins together, right? And and it's it's not going through a centralized coordinator. The messages are going through uh, something called Soravon, and it's a connection between you and the, the person. So it's closer to P2P, but there still is a Sorbon server. So the first step was to decentralize the Sorbon server. So we think we're there on the Sorbon server. And within the next few months, there should be a public uh, beta of a um, decentralized Sorbon server. So you'll be able to run a Sorbon server on your dojo, on your wh wherever you want to run it. And we're going to publicly test that for a while, make sure everything's running smooth on that, because that kind of framework is going to be what's used in Whirlpool. And we already started internal testing on it. So we assume it's going to work uh, properly at, at, and at scale. Uh, so Sorbonne's coming first, decentralized, completely decentralized Sorbonne is coming first. Then after, um, we'll start seeing more on the Whirlpool side.